Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking about how the New York Jets win the 2024 NFL Draft. Seven rounds, the full thing, the full mock draft. I'm giving it to you guys today. Let's get straight into this video. Let's transition into our PFF mock draft simulator. No, I'm not sponsored. No, I paid for this by myself, but it's a pretty good tool. Let's dive straight into this thing and make it happen. So, the Jets. What did we learn, Jets fans? Mission number one is protect Aaron Rodgers, our quarterback. He's a Hall of Famer someday. He's getting old, but you got to keep him on his own two feet and not on the ground. Today's who I would draft as a GM, not how I think it's going to actually go down, but as a GM, I know what we got to do. We got to protect Aaron Rodgers, keep him on his own two feet, and I know we got a ton of value right here. Still, there is a great tackle on the board in Fashanu, Olu Fashanu out of Penn State. This guy's going to be a monster. He's such a good tackle prospect. Olu Fashanu, welcome to the team. Let's make it happen. You're protecting Aaron Rodgers' blind side for years to come. No second round pick, so we are back on the board in the third. Who do we want to take here? We need not a tackle because we got one, a wide out, a D lineman, interior, defensive interior, a safety. Whatever's on the board will take the best player available, and I think we clearly know who it's going to be. I know Sweat's right there. He just said the whole thing happened. I don't know how that will affect his draft stock, but there are two wideouts right here with insane value in the third round, Devontae Walker and Javon Baker. Who fits our scheme more? For this team, we already got Garrett Wilson, just a phenomenal wideout right there. I think Devontae Walker would pair with him very nicely. A good yang and yang for that offensive coordinator. Let's take Devontae Walker out of UNC. I am very excited to see Devontae Walker do his thing on the Jets. We're on the clock, and uh, Jets fans... What do we need? Interior and safety? We're not wasting our time. Michael Hall Jr. is right here. He's too short to be a D-end, too small to be a D-tackle, but he's effective, and that's all that matters. Michael Hall Jr., you are a Jet. I'll see you guys at the next pick, which is 134. New York Jets fans, we are back on the clock in the fourth round, at the top of the fourth round. Who are we taking here? We still, still do not have a safety. That's okay. We're not going to force it. We're looking for value. It's day three of the draft. You can't just force needs like that. What's the best player on the board? Justin, great edge rusher out of Alabama. He is in the back of my mind whenever I'm looking at these picks. Also, another guy I saw, where is he at? Makai Wingo, very effective, good interior D lineman, and we for sure need it. I think it's between those two for me, and I'm going to go with Makai Wingo. I like the way he plays. I think he'll fit well in this scheme. Welcome to the Jets. I'll see you guys at 185. We're on the clock with three picks left, and we have two of the final picks in the entire NFL draft. We are getting Mr. Relevant. Who are we going to take here? This is our last real value pick, because after this, it's just whoever's left on the board is what it's going to be. So, who do we want here? We still need to fill this safety position. We're not going to fill a need with a six-round pick. We know that, but we can definitely try to aid it in any way we can. With that being said, who do we like here? I think Anthony out of Mississippi is who I think I'm going to take here. We for sure need it. He's a good player, good value right here on the board, like 10th player down. Let's do it. Anthony, welcome to the squad. You are a Jet. I'll see you guys at the final two picks of the entire NFL draft. All right, fellas, we are back on the clock with the final two picks of the entire NFL draft. This is kind of fun. I like it a lot. We're just taking players I like. That's what we're doing. I don't know every single one of these guys. I hope you know that, and if you expect me to, you're out of your mind. I don't have the time for this. This, I know a few of these names, though, and I'm going to pick them because I like them as prospects because they slid this far. First guy, Jared Wiley. Out of TCU, the tight end. He's a Texas guy. Solid, solid player right there. Could be a real red zone threat for this team. Jared, welcome to the squad. One more pick on the clock. Who are we taking? We got to. We got to. Having quarterbacks... As Mr. Relevant is just fun, let's take Tonga Bailoa and welcome him to the Jets roster, and let's review this entire mock draft. Jets fans, this is my mock draft. Let's review. First, we took Olu out of Penn State. This guy can straight up ball, and we got to protect Aaron. The most important factor on our team, protect Aaron, protect Aaron, protect Aaron. Number two, we took Devontae Walker because we had no second round pick, and somehow this guy fell all the way to us at pick 72 overall. Fantastic value across from Garrett Wilson. Let's make it happen. Then, we need an interior D-line. Took Michael Hall Jr. and Makai Wingo. I think these two guys are very effective and will pair nicely together in the league. Then with my later day three picks, we took Anthony, the safety, out of Mississippi. Jared Wiley, the red zone weapon out of TCU. And Tonga Bailoa as Mr. Relevant for the Jets. What did you think, guys? What would you change? Drop it below. Would you draft Fashanu? Would you draft Walker? Did you like Hall? What would you change? Where would you pick these guys instead of where I did? Let me know down below. And guys, if you watched this far in the video and you enjoyed it, drop a like. It helps me out tremendously, especially with all these videos I'm making. If you enjoy this kind of content, this team-by-team 7-round mock draft, I made one for every single team 
in the league. Go subscribe down below because I'm bringing you a few more before the draft hits. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon. Not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all-pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, Mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip. Tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by. And you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Thank you guys for spending your time with me today watching this video. Appreciate y'all more than you know. Love you guys. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of LA.